Hey folks, this is Decoherent, and welcome back to RimWorld. So, just one or two things as we get going here. So, after I built the second research bench, I thought, this is stupid. Nate's a night owl. Obviously, you just need one bench so that you can have, you know, your daytime person and your nighttime person rotate. And then, upon further inspection, it turns out that Aaron is actually a night owl that did not get set correctly by the mod, and I never noticed them. So, actually, I did need a second research bench. And that is kind of annoying. Um, the thing is... I really would prefer to only have one bench, but I don't really have anyone else that I can spare. I can't spare Virgil, because of the construction and mining. Um, I can't spare Dakota, for many reasons. I can't really spare Axe, because of the growing. Um, I can't spare Grim, because of constructing. Although, actually... Or tailoring and crafting, actually. Although, actually, maybe I could. I could have three people on. That would actually be pretty funny. Yeah, and then everyone else is terrible. Twos, threes, you know, garbage. So I guess for now I'll leave it. I guess I've got to kick someone else up to cleaning then, huh? But yeah, it's going to have to be probably Morty, I'm thinking. Although, actually, you should have been doing that anyway. Well, let's leave you on constructing, as we are. So anyway, so there's that. Um, I do need to make Wurt needs a new eye. Yes. Because you do all kinds of things, um, not that mining requires, like, good eyesight, but you also, you know, you're social, you're good at shooting. So anyway, so I queued that up, and anyway, we'll do that. I'm still thinking of squishing everything up here and making um, my rec room bigger, because I could flip this table sideways and make this the kitchen and then have the rec room be this big area. Um, we'll see. I might. It kind of depends whether or not I'm going to start making meat again, which I would really like to do. So, I need to kick some of that off. Um, come back later. I don't know why you're so worried about my group of other guests. They're fine. They're pleasant. Don't worry about it. Yeah, there's just a few other things I want made. Oh, wait, why are you doing this? No, 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 no. Suspend. And then also turn that off. That shouldn't be turned on. Uh, obviously, I moved this down here. Which is a fine place for it to be. I mean, the chem fuel can stuff can just sit down here and do its own thing. What I need is to get this um, solar generator built. It's not too bad at the moment, but once winter hits and I've got to rift these areas over, we're going to have some trouble. So, I just need you to please build that, please. And then, obviously, some shelves and so on and so forth. In fact, it's already 6 a.m. You guys should be up and doing stuff. Tempus food get, right? Well, maybe not. They're amazed by my hospitality. You left me a cloth war veil and a camel hair war veil. Mmm. Yes, thank you. How thoughtful of you. And don't think you're going to escape this, man. Okay, I was just going to say, like, you have to come back and finish it. Yeah, I just want to get these walls done before I really get carried away with doing anything else. So, we'll get that taken care of. Even if we just do half of this, then we'll just build other stuff. And then, here. Build anything. This can have... Any raw resources, this can have any raw resources. Light receptor is made. Let's turn that back off. Save a little bit of power. Okay, good. Someone's building that finally. Alright. They're just not prioritizing these walls and stuff. And someday I'm going to build another chair. <laughs> that asymmetry is bothering me too, don't worry. Like, it's really, it's really bugging me. But, it kind of is what it is at the moment. Alright, well we can keep building some walls here. Um... Just build a few more, and I guess we could start down here, too, because I'm obviously not going to be expanding out this direction. So go ahead and work on that. Wow, the lag is real at the moment. Jeez. And I have been replacing still a few more of these bee houses with the, um, uh, with the electronic version. It's just like, this is a good time to do it, so I'll just work on it. Yeah, this is taking forever because, um, only one person at a time can do this. So, it's pretty slow. Wow, I actually don't know what's causing this lag. This was fine earlier. Windows has been trying to do some updates and stuff. I wonder if that's doing something irritating. Because if I pause it, everything's fine. Hmm. Well, there's obviously something on the map going on that it doesn't care for. Oh no, I didn't deconstruct that. Grange is doomed. Okay, now you're fine. Doomy doom doom. Alright, we're... Good news. Um, you get to go ahead and you get a new eye now. So, for a right eye... Sell bionic eye, right eye. Um, you're drilling, that's fine. Why don't you come get some rest? And I'm going to have probably X put that in, right? I could have Nate do it, or Kitch. Probably Nate. No, no, no. Actually, Kitch is awake, so I want Kitch to do it. Kitch, don't go too far away. You're going to come do some surgery. 
Alright, come operate. You should have no trouble with this. Oh no, this drill is done. Alright, alright. Flip this on temporarily. I know, like, there's still probably other things we could use that aren't steel, but, like, we need so much steel for the spaceship, it's kind of ridiculous. So, um, it looks like if I just reinstall this right there on that corner, that would be the place to put it. And this one's about done, too, but we'll have to change those manually. I mean, I can see what these other ones are. I don't mind getting the bug events. It's okay. Yeah... We've got a lot of gold and a lot of uranium. So I don't think we need it. So I don't think I'm going to bother. So, okay, turn that off. And let's um, get some of this stuff deconstructed and then reconstructed. And keep making these awful weird little rooms. Because I think it's funny. Alright, and are you successfully putting in this eye? Yes, good. Major break risk. Why? Dakota, what's up with you? Oh, you have sensory mechanites, that's why. Yep. That'll do it every time. Alright, so, unforbid, reinstall this right there, and then let's kind of box it in. <laughs> we'll just we'll just keep doing this. There we go. So do that, and then we'll make sure that this is home zone. Oh, these aren't home zone at the moment. Oh, that was when I was trying to get the visitors to stop being jerks. Uh, I remember now. But they need to be home zone, so go ahead and do that. And then obviously we don't need these corners, so we'll go ahead and we'll cancel those. Okay. I mean, we definitely need them uh, to be home zone so they get repaired and stuff, so... I'm less concerned about them getting cleaned, but repairing is pretty important. Alright, so is there anything else right now that we need to be doing? I don't believe so. So the reason I haven't built the advanced centrifuge is that it only works with 10 at a time. Um, and that's not how I tend to generate these things. However, I am getting so many honeycombs that I think I might make another just regular steel honey centrifuge. I could do that. Because this is not really getting used. This is for extracting from hives. Let's take that apart. It'd be easy for us to remake it. Oh, in this shelf for the new I mean, I could actually just put over there. But, you know, whatever. Yeah, let's 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 make another one of these. Let's put two in. Plus they're kind of neat looking. And they're not expensive in any way, so we'll just throw it in there. Maybe that'll help a little. Oh good, shredder turrets are done. Okay, so do we want more cool turrets? Should I move down the line of precision turrets into blast turrets and mortars and devastators and stuff like that? Looks like I need charged munitions first. Um okay, that's only 3000. Go ahead and do that. Only only he calmly says. Alright. Extract from any comb. Do forever. Drop on the floor. Perfect. Maybe that'll let two people at once work on it. Or it was a waste of 100 power. Either way, I don't care. I would like our bees taken care of as soon as possible. One colonist idle. Nate is really idle? I was gonna say, go research. You're not idle. I mean, you might be idle, but you're not idle because you don't have anything to do. Um, that's probably fine where it is. No one should step on it. Except, of course, for, you know, bugs. And these are set to not be in gathering areas, right? Nope, I'm wrong. Well, actually, I worry about that. Let's do this. Let's install that there. And let's install this there as part of my clever plan. And let's reinstall this one... Actually, in the very corner? No, right there. That'll be okay. Leah, you're right here. Just do it. Ah, there's three separate people coming out to do that one job. That's fine. Oh, good. More sensory mechanites. Oh, that'll make Aaron happy. Alright. So we're not using honey in meals, right? Actually, it looks like we are. Wait. No, we're not. Okay, good. So let's make some mead. We haven't done this in quite a while. In fact, I have to look at my notes, and it is five bills per five per barrel. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's do that. That's been a long time. Oh, and walls. Right. 
Don't forget about walls. You were working on walls. Keep going on that. I thought about making this look nicer, and I made the conscious decision to not do so. So if you're wondering, yes, that is on purpose. There. Go ahead. Keep going. Work away long into the night. And since that's two barrels, is it possible to forbid the others? Ruined by temperature. Well, they should be empty. Let's make sure that's actually what's happening. Lewis! Come fill one. Right? No, 25 per. Okay. Never mind. Just kidding. Who's up in the middle of the night that'll do this? You're building. You're also hauling. Oh, that's a cooking task. Oh, okay. Lefty, Morty. Why don't you come do some brewing? This will be some good experience for you. Yeah, I, th I think they're putting in roofing, like, as we go. And so that's what's causing all this trouble. Oh, this takes you a very long time because you're terrible at cooking. All right, never mind. Thanks, though. I'll let someone else do it. Turn this into home area. As such. We're just about ready to throw some guns in the corners here. And keep sappers out. And that will be nice. For sure. In fact, we can go ahead and we can just move this door to here. And then we can go ahead and we can... Do that. And we can go ahead and we can put a little extra flooring in. I do so love using concrete. When I can get away with it. And then, how about a light? Because this is now a permanent area. Yeah, put a light in. Perfect. This is ideal. Okay, so now, guns. Oh, this is going to be expensive, unfortunately. And it's going to do bad things for our wealth. And I suppose you can reach all the way down there. Ah, crap. No. Alright, so I need one there. And one here. And that should make this area sapper... Well, maybe not sapper-proof, but sapper-resistant. How's that? Actually, you know what? I did this wrong. I should have done this like this. Because then I could put one gun right there, and that would cover both. So, there I was trying to be contrary and, like, deliberately make it look bad. And it turned out that all it did was make my life more difficult. Oh, here, Hawk, while you're at it, quick, fill one of these up. With 25. There we go. Perfect. Uh, caravan request. You want some gold in exchange for... No. No, that's not good stuff. Yeah, like, I went and looked at, like... There's no bases near us. I guess we could go to the peace talks, but I don't care. Virgil's in a sad wander. It's like... There's nothing really interesting to do that's nearby. So we're building turrets and walls and stuff like that. Which is not as exciting as it could be, but it's alright. And where's that other one supposed to be? Right there, it's getting built, okay. Yeah, we have rather a lot of components, there's no question about it. Okay, good, and you made the next one, perfect. And while that stuff is sitting on the ground, if you could... Where'd you go? Can one of you guys cook? Do that. Thank you. So we'll get that going. Alright, well... I guess let's just let things tick along for a little bit here and get some more research done. So now that we've constructed a little more of the outside wall, the question is, where is it do we want sappers to actually come in? Because we do need to construct an area for them. Because they won't ever tunnel into our um, kill box, because we're always going to have guns there. Um, I don't want them coming in here. We could use this area down here. It's a little out of the way for our people to get to. We'd want to put in some auto doors and stuff. Um, but I think this might be okay. It'd be a little weird. It would be a weird shape. Um, but there's nothing... Well, I mean, the infinite chem fuel generator is kind of expensive, but I don't really care about it. I've already got bees that are doing that. So if we did that, how would we want to do that? This area, like this, is too small. Because I would need to have, you know, an area for them to fire at. 
I mean, I can close this off and force them to come in this way, or I can close this off and force them to come in this way. That might be the way to go. So then keep doing turrets like this and stop it there. And then pick back up over here and come up to here. That might work okay. I suppose. Yeah, in that case, what I'd want to do is I'd want to have some embrasures here, if I'm going to do that. And I'll need to move the infinite chem field generator. Luckily, that thing doesn't really care where it is. It's just a little annoying to walk past. Um, I suppose it can even go outside, can't it? I don't really want to put it back in our storage area. <laughs> you know, that's kind of a that's kind of a hassle, but I don't want it to block people as they're trying to walk past. So we can put that there, and then we can go ahead and we can reinstall this here. There we go. Yeah, that'll work okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, here, animals. You, the, the animals are just super bored. It's like here, come just haul some stuff. Then we can cut things up, and then you'll be happy. Yeah, yeah, I think we'll do it like that. Yep, I think that's an okay plan. Oh, hello. A new orbital stash of 16 enemies. Ugh. That could be fun. Do we like fun? We love fun. Let's finish building these walls, then we'll go do that. I also need to figure out which weapons I'm going to deal with. So I've got some bullet storms, I've got some gauss lances. Like, uh, I, gotta, I gotta think about this. I don't know what I want to do. Some extra bullet storms, um, doomsday rocket launchers. I have lots of interesting things is the problem. And they're all quite expensive. And they're all adding to my wealth, even though I'm not using them. So, yeah, it's not an ideal situation. Here, let's build some roofing here. We'll just slow things down even more. We'll just lag the crap out of everything here. And we can go ahead and we can build... Actually, you know what? We don't need to build a mini turret. Because we can go ahead and we can take this one and we can reinstall it out here. And it looks like we just need one. Right there. And then we can put a shredder turret in here instead so it doesn't explode. Shredder turrets are great that way. With the whole not exploding part. Yeah, just put that right there. Whenever you want to get to it. That is pretty tempting. Hmm. It's just not totally clear to me... 16 enemies is a lot. I mean, we can send our own power beam targeters, which just becomes silly <laughs> after a while, which is okay. I don't mind things being, you know, a little dumb. Do we have limestone? Apparently we do. Go ahead and build a door in there. Um, I don't know. I'll have to think about that. I will definitely have to think about that. Here, keep building. Just build until I tell you to stop. It's going to take a while. Not gonna lie to you. Well, I'll lie to you. Just not about this. There we go. And these things use a non-trivial amount of power. Yeah, 300 watts. Ugh. I mean, I can get some more power. I can actually, if I take this wall down, I can put another wind turbine in here sideways. I don't know. Why are there potatoes outside? Is there really no room for these indoors? Well, there's not. Oh my god. Maybe we just need to keep more meals on hand. Yeah, I think so. Alright, pulse munitions are done. Um, what should we do next then? Um, again, I just want more turrets. What would I need to get the Devastator Mortar? It's so hard to get there. You can see it's so expensive. But it's so great if we can get a hold of it. I'm gonna try. I'm going to try. With two researchers, I think I'm going to take a stab at it. Have I ever had a Devastator Mortar that I built myself through research? I think they have always come to us through, like, um, finding them and stuff like that. I don't think I ever have. And a siege. Okay. Oh. Well, we're going to make a bunch of you sad. Oh, you guys! Haha, <laughs> raids went wrong here. Okay, 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 let's bring everyone inside quick. And, uh... Let's see what's going on here. Or, uh, not home. Um, base. Which I don't think I've fixed recently. Oh, you guys got... <gasps> That's a lot of mechanoids. Wow, okay, okay, okay. 
I need someone to come close some of these doors. Come close that door. Um, you're already gonna close this door on your way past. Boy, and I was just gonna, like, set these, I was gonna replace these with auto doors in, like, the last ten seconds, and then I forgot. Um... And I need somebody, Aaron, let's say, to come on over here. Okay. Actually, maybe enough of you guys will die that it won't be an issue. Look how well armed these guys are. Oh my god, okay. So, who's our fastest person at the moment? I think it's Kitch. Yep. Okay, so you are going to come grab one of our orbital power beam targeters. As a sidearm. Sure. Because I need to get you over there for our anti-siege fun. Okay, so they're fleeing. So that actually turned out to not be the problem. The problem is going to be the mechanoids. Okay. Sounds good. Eden, you can go ahead and go back inside. Aaron, actually, go ahead and go back inside too. Because I don't mind if the scythers come through there. That's not the issue. Look at all this stuff we're gonna get. Well, assuming it doesn't all burn. Okay, there we go. Now well, they're coming for us now. Alright. Well, you guys know what that means. Defensive positions. And everyone is carrying something appropriate? Yes. Although another bullet storm wouldn't be a mess. Um, I guess Virgil could come grab one of our bullet storms. I know we've got at least one more in here, yeah. Actually, we've got a couple, but go ahead and come grab that one. Oh, and this needs to be turned on as someone goes past. Eden, can you please flick this on? Oh, actually, one of the guests is coming to get it. Well, thank you, guests. For that, I shall spare you. Man, that's rather a lot of them, that's for sure. All right, Virgil, go ahead and head to your defensive position, wherever that is down there. Sure. I gotta give someone some marine armor and make um, a melee barrier. So at the moment, I don't have one. And X, I believe, has my EMP grenades. Actually, I should probably have you over here. Does it really matter? I guess it doesn't really matter, but go over there anyway. Although that does mean you're not going to get there in time to be of any use. So actually, that was the wrong choice. Doesn't someone else have EMP grenades? I thought I had two people that had them. Or do I just have some in a box somewhere? I think it's the latter. Okay, X, turn around and come back. Um, Grim, move over a square. X, get over to right here. It's gonna take you too long to get in there. Oh, God. I just want to make sure they don't get in here, you know? They're gonna go that direction. And if they do, then we stun them, just like that. Pay attention! Gosh, you guys are so bad at focusing fire. Pain stick away. Actually, here, let's try to keep track of this health. Oh, look, it is working. That's kind of neat. I am trying to stun them. And this is actually working okay. Huh. And if you guys could focus your damn fire... This wouldn't be such an issue. Kill the ones that are, like, inside the base, huh? Wait, not you, Aaron. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Why are you... Why are you up there? Why? Why is this? Why is this? Switch back to your friggin' bullet storm and get over here. There's a reason you have a ranged weapon. You've adapted, but that doesn't make any difference at this point. It's okay, still a couple more wandering their way on in. Okay, X, you can go ahead and you can switch back over to your regular weapon. So, while they're finishing that up... Oh my god, okay, it's going to take quite a while to go through those people. So we're just going to have to hold on to that for a second. Let's get these taken care of quick. It's just this one and then one more, right? You're just wandering, right? Okay, so... I'm going to have to bring everyone over here. Everyone over here. Because we're going to strip everyone that's still alive, which is actually really quite hard to tell. Or you're moving, unfortunately. 
Oh no, is anyone in power armor still alive? I think you're all dead in power armor. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Okay, so... Do we want any of you people? No! Look at you! You're as worthless as they come. You're an ugly but highly socially skilled person. Doubt. 0.4 hours, doesn't matter. Hmm... You might be an okay general purpose person. We could capture you. Yeah. You might not be bad. Chief? 17 hours. Obviously, we're not going to take you, but I am going to strip you. We're going to get someone out here as quick as possible to do that. In fact, um, Dakota, if you can come do that. Strip. And Nate, do you want to come capture? Is there anyone else out here that we want? Livestock wranglers. Super immune, tough, but a brawler. Oh, actually, yes. I would like you as well. Cannot capture because we only have one bed. Yeah, I know that. Let's let's fix that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't expect to be picking up more than one person. Okay, so, um, crap. Now I'm going to have to find you again. Okay, was it Grange? Yes. Grange and this guy? No. This guy. This guy. Yep. Grange, come capture. And is that it? You're just downed. A psychically dull, volatile, straight nudist. Huh. It's too bad we're not going to be able to get out there in time to strip you. That's too bad. Staggeringly ugly. Oh. I hear you, man. Wow. Oh, death in seven seconds. Okay, so I don't have to worry about that. Well, I think that's it. Isn't it? Yeah, okay. So you guys come on over. Um, you guys can go ahead and be unrestricted. Let's actually allow the animals. Um, and you guys. Oh, I never even set you to a different zone. What am I going to do with all this stuff? I don't even know. I'm going to have to burn all this in place. There's no way that I can keep this stuff around. This will do such staggeringly awful things to my wealth, I can't even explain it. As soon as this rain stops, I need to burn it. Oh, you're actually not bad either. Um... I could... I... well... Mm, nah. Chemical interest. Uh. Okay, so what are things that I do want out of this? So, I do want medicine. Um, I do want silver, I suppose. It's not much of it. I don't want any of their weapons. Unless they have some charge rifles or anything better than that in here. I have plenty of regular weapons. Okay, this I want hauled urgently. Um, in fact, Lefty... Come haul that right now. And is this an advanced helmet? That is an advanced helmet. And so somebody else, Grim, come haul that. I mean, I want the Scythers. Um, I wouldn't mind the incendiary launcher. You can never have too many of those. <laughs> but honestly, the rest of it, I'm carrying a lot of Yayo. The rest of it, I think I'm gonna leave. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to call that good enough. In fact, let's go ahead then and let's set these all to haul urgently. Um, and the Yayo. And the Silver. And was that it? Yeah, I think that was it. That was getting carried manually. And then, yeah, we'll be up here as soon as the fire's out then, and I will burn the, the whole lot of you. Yeah, I don't want the Gojuice. Well, I guess I could sell the Gojuice. That's kind of within our mandate. All right, I'll go juice as well. Oh yeah, and the scythers. I have to set them to haul urgently. Right. No storage space. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Wait. Oh, there's still one up. 
Oh, and the person you were carrying died. You got this okay? Oh, yeah. Yep, just go eat in the middle of the rain. Yeah, you know, like, whatever. Just do whatever you want, man. No storage space for Yayo, Yayo. Well, there actually will be. It's just that it's not currently... It's currently occupied. Oh, actually, it's not. Okay. Wow, we have a lot of drugs. Um, I didn't even realize that. Didn't I just set this to allow Yayo? Yes, I did. And go juice. Okay, well, it just needs to be hauled. Oh, and now it's the Scythers. Okay, good. Um, what to do with the Scythers? Did I let the animals out? No. Go back to normal. Thank you. I don't really have a good spot to store Scythers. I guess we could go ahead and we could put a temporary zone inside here for mechanicals. Since they're all going to get lapped up. Yeah, let's do that. Corpses. Mechanoid. Critical. Go do that. Alright, and I just gotta wait for the rain to stop at some point. I did check you guys, right? You guys are worthless. See, there's two of you left. Yeah, the pyromaniac. That's right. Right. Uh, yeah, see, for example? Yeah. We've gotta get rid of some stuff. We've just gotta do it. Okay, I think we're almost ready. Yep, I think that's it. Alright, so... Now, we just need... The rain to stop, and then we can go burn everything. And then things will be wonderful, and happy, and great, and fantastic. And this episode is running a little long according to my clock, which may or may not be correct. So let's actually go ahead and let's take a break. And when we come back, hopefully the rain will stop, I can burn all the rest of these corpses, and then everything will be fine. So, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.